What's up YouTube? It's your girl Danny. I'm coming to you with a brief video quickly outlining the products that I like to use that are not so natural that you can purchase from any grocery store, any drugstore, or what have you. I wanted to do this video because there have been a lot of conversations that I've been having with women that want to go natural but they feel like they can't afford the products. For some reason they have the impression that if you go natural that means you have to use natural products and that couldn't be further from the truth. I remember when I first decided to go natural almost three years ago, um, the big name product that was out there was Miss Jessie and if you, any of you know Miss Jessie's, if you use the products or um, you've come across them at Target or you've even you know, seen the talk shows that have been talking about it, you know that Miss Jessie's is a pricey product like I mean it's pricey to me I think to any average person spending 50 60 70 bucks on one hair product it's kind of crazy um, use what works for your hair if non-natural products work for your hair better than the natural products then use that if it if the natural products work better than the ones that are not so natural then you use that if you a combination of both work for your hair then do that the point is do you this video is for any woman out here that wants to go natural, that wants to use good quality products that are not damaging to the hair. So I'm going to show you the products that I like to use that are not so natural, but they work just as good as the natural products and they're easier on your pockets. So for all you women out there that's in the struggle, this is for you, boo. So the first one I would like to bring out is basically um, what I like to co-wash with. And... I co-wash pretty much every week and um, and if some of you don't know what co-washing is it's conditioner washing only so you wash and you cleanse your hair and your scalp with the conditioner and the one that I like to use is VO5 and this one is the clarifying conditioner it's a kiwi lime squeeze with lemon grass at extract um, I like this because although it is a conditioner it still feels like my hair is getting clean um, not squeaky clean, but cleansed enough where I feel like uh, there's no product buildup left on my hair. So I use this once a week. I just bought a new bottle. That's why it's full. And then most cases, you know, depending on how I feel, I would use this conditioner. And this is the, uh, the Moisture Milks Moisturizing Conditioner. This one is Passion Fruit Smoothie and has soy milk protein. And um, I like to use this sometimes as a leave-in. So if I'm washing my hair, I might twist it up or I might do a wash and go or something like that. I would use this product right here. And these are silicone free products. They're not all natural, but they have no silicones in them. So that's why I like them. And they're both less than $1. I, you can't beat that. I have a closet full of these. <laughs> No lie, I'm not joking. I have a closet full of these products because they literally, they're, they're like 89 cents. And sometimes I get them for 50 cents depending on what store you go to. So, you can't really beat that. The next product I'm going to highlight here is Deep Conditioner. Now, um, I do use the Aubrey Organics uh, conditioners. And those are around about $10.99, $12, maybe something like that from Whole Foods. But when I don't have time to use those products, you know, when I'm really rushed, as far as deep conditioning, I like to use the Aussie Moist 3-Minute Miracle. And I've mentioned this product before in a video before, but um, I just want to highlight here that, yes, this is another one, one of these products that I get from the drugstore that work just as well. It really is a 3-Minute Miracle, I promise you. I put it on my hair, I wash my body up, I rinse it out, and it's as if I've been deep conditioning overnight. So I really do love this product. And I usually get it for $2.99 or you know, $2.99, $3.99, but this time I actually got it for two for five dollars at my local grocery store. You can't beat that either. So I'm just showing one bottle now because this is a new bottle. The other one is in the shower, it's almost gone, so. I'll be working on this bottle in a minute. Uh, the next one I want to show you is uh, a leave-in conditioner. Okay, so I've mentioned this product, of course, before. And so far, this is the only one I use. 
And this is the Cantu Shea Butter for Natural Hair. Uh, it's Coconut Curling Cream. I really, really love this product. It has no mineral oil in it, no sulfates, no silicones or anything like that. But it's not a completely natural product. But it works just as good as the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie or the, you know, the curling cream or whatever it is. And it's only like five bucks. So it's about half the price of Shea Moisture. Even though I still love Shea Moisture. Because Shea Moisture is not expensive either. But, you know, $5, I'll take it. And I only shampoo with a sulfate shampoo uh, once a month. And that is my favorite one right now is the Swa Professionals. This one's the Almond and Shea Butter uh, Moisturizing Shampoo. And it really does moisturize your hair, like no lie. Normally when I use a sulfate shampoo, I get that matting effect right at the roots. And I hate that feeling because it just, my fingers literally get stuck in my hair, it's crazy. With this, I don't get that at all. I can almost pretty much detangle with this shampoo. And that is almost like unheard of. That is how soft and moisturizing this shampoo is. My daughter's hair love it, both Jayla and Deanna. This is one of the very few products that I can use on all of our hairs. Because, you know, each head is different. And I find myself buying a lot of products because... My one daughter's hair might like, you know, a certain product and my other one might not like that one. So I have to buy products for her hair and it's a mess. But this is one of the very few products that we all can use that and this right here. The next product, which is pretty obvious that it's my favorite because I mention it pretty much all the time. And that is Eco Styler Gel. This one is a protein one. This is my favorite one. Um, I've used the olive oil and the argan oil one too, and they're okay, but this was the one that really, my hair really takes to. And it mixes well with other products. Even when I use this as a leave-in, I don't get those white balls or whatever, so I like to, this is the reason why I like to use this. And I get this big old tub from Sally's most cases, and I'll probably spend... I think it's like $3.99, I want to say. But you know, they sell them in the little smaller things if you don't use gel as often as I do. And like I said, it's less than 5 bucks. So all of the products that I mentioned here are all less than $5. Including two of them that was less than a dollar. Like, you can't beat that. Let this video serve as encouragement for you that... If you are sitting there and you are on that edge about whether or not you're actually going to go natural or not, get it out your head that you have to go broke trying to go natural. That's exactly what I'm going to name this video. <laughs> there you go. Don't go broke trying to go natural. Use what works for you. If you have to buy these products from the, the drugstore and they work, then use them. No one can tell you what to do with your hair because in the end, it is your hair and you're the one that's going to have to manage it. Not me or anyone else out here on the YT. So, I hope this helped. If you have any questions about any of the products that I mentioned here, please feel free to inbox me or leave a message down below. Until next time, love you guys. Bye.